What's up, guys? Chris Fink with UVT. One of the best Sunday fun day projects I've had in a very, very long time. This video is going to be dedicated to going over. It's going to be like a quasi unboxing. You know, I don't, again, that's my usual spiel. I don't have a studio. I just like to just rip these things open and go through them. And that's exactly what we're going to do together right now. So this is the M30T model of the Matrice 30 series. Within the Matrice 30 series, you have two models currently. You have the Matrice 30, the M30, or the Matrice 30T, the M30T. T stands for thermal. That's what this one is. Got that out of the way. Fantastic. Another housekeeping note. When you ask for quotes, make sure that you ask for quotes for the Matrice 30 or 30T combo SKUs, okay? Combo means it comes with a set of TB30s. The main reason for this is just make sure that you ask for the same thing from every vendor, especially if you are a company, an agency that needs to get three quotes, that you're going to be writing an RFP. Just make absolutely clear the, that you want the combo quoted and or that you uh, request a certain number or quantity of TB30 batteries, Okay. From DJI, this is straight from DJI, from DHL this last week while I was gone at Exponential. Shout out to everybody I saw. What an amazing event. I'll do a video about that later. When this comes from DJI, there are no TB30 batteries in here at all. And that's by design. That's because they ship these things all over the world. They go by air. You can't do that very easily with batteries. Okay. So either make sure that you request your quotes from all three of your vendors or you write your RFP with a total number of TB30 batteries requested or you line item it out and you say, I want an M30T combo and then I want six additional batteries. That would give you a total of eight, for example. Okay, give us a call, shoot us an email, message me. Happy to go through some of that housekeeping stuff. Let's dig in. So I've already opened this to save time. I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes. Here we go. In this box, it all comes as one box, includes, well, English. In this box comes aircraft case, BS30, the BS30 is in here, okay? You'll have your foam around it, blah, blah, blah. Pull that sucker out, throw the foam away. Here we go. Aircraft case. Listen to this, listen to this. Oh, I mean, just stupid, cool. Wheeled case, replaceable in case they break. Really cool. Normal DJR case, right? Uh, just, I mean, here we go. I mean, yeah, buddy. Happy Sunday to me and now to you. M30T, this is a demo unit. It says demo unit on it. If yours shows up and it says this, tell the dealer that they messed up. It can happen, although a little bit weird. Yours will not say that. M30T. Now the kit contents of the M30 and the M30T are identical. So what you see here, literally from this angle, you can't even tell whether that's an M30 or M30T. So all of this applies to all models, uh, except for the dock stuff, which will come out later this year. So you'll notice, like I said, no flight batteries, empty slots, empty aircraft. They'd be down in here, okay? No flight batteries. Another important note, no matter how you order this thing, combo or not, no WB37s. The WB37s are what go in your RC Plus. This thing I have an infatuation with. It's amazing. I can't wait. The WB37s go in here for additional flight time. I'll open that up in a second and show you. But if you need WB37s, if you don't already have a Crystal Sky, you don't already have a Smart Controller Enterprise with your M300, uh, Phantom 4 RTK, et cetera, et cetera, make sure you add the WB37s separately on there, okay? I would probably recommend two to four. Shouldn't need more than four. Happy to talk about all of that with you. Answer questions, sorry. Notification came on my phone and I got distracted. So here we go. Aircraft comes out. I mean, one solid, whoopsies, one solid unit, right? I'll fold that in just so I don't smash another stuff over there. Aircraft, all one, one kit and caboodle, right? The whole enchilada. Gimbal is locked for transport. You must... That's unlocked. That's locked. You must lock this when you transport it. There's a note right here telling you to do that. If you don't do that, you could damage it. This thing's expensive. Just, you, it's, just for, it's just a tiny little bit of resistance, and you're done. Okay? M30T. All packaged up. T because of thermal. Okay? RC Plus. This thing is just sexual. I mean, it's just magic. Okay? Playing hard to get there for a second. Look at that thing. What? I mean, size comparison, right? You can, oh, 
I'm not going to do that for very long. You can lift up with one hand. It's just, it's perfect. It's ergonomic. It's amazing. Buttons over here for your Zoom, your IR, etc. I'll do videos on that. All good. The W37s would go in here, or a W37 would go in here. There's a little door. Blam. Door empty. Okay? Now, you don't have to have a WB37 to fly this. All you need is that combo skew, that one skew, that one skew, look at that, to fly, which is your aircraft, your BS30, and two TB30s, okay? You don't, have to have, you don't have to have a WB37. This will run for about four and a half hours, I believe, with no WB37, okay? This is an unboxing fink. Shut up. Let's keep moving. Accessories over here. Cables, you know, little screwdriver thingy, whatever. The props are, like I said, they're already mounted, right? Right there. So you do have that hex key. The hex key for this is actually in here. Uh, there's a little screwdriver. Extra props down here. Took me a minute to find this. Blam. Okay. There's another one of these little empty cavity uh, down here. If you want to put like cables or whatever down there. Okay. Desicants. Yay. Exciting. Manuals. Get rid of those. Nothing in the top that at least I've been able to see. So good to go. Okay. See? Durable. Fell right over on foam by design. Ready to rock and roll. M30T. Next, BS30. This is very simple. Um, here we go. Now, for those of you guys that fly the M300 and have a BS60, your lid would stop about right here, right? Not this one. Goes all the way down. No covers over here. They recess this. Very, very smart. So you have to worry about that silly little cover that snaps off like on your second, third, first, before it even gets here to flight. Here's the BS30. Now, a couple of uh, notes here. One. A, B, C, D. Paired charging. Now, it does not have the intelligence built in to know which battery is which. So you have to physically put pair here, pair here, here, here. Okay? And then, once your pairs are in there, it's going to act just like it would any other time. It's going to find the, the, the pair that has the most or the highest charge level. Start with them. Finish those or, you know, fin I'll go over the modes in a second. It's going to do those and move on to the next and the next and the next until they're all good to go. WB37s go in here and charge individually and USB charging. Okay. Now there's also get, don't make fun of me in front of my friends. Okay, there we go. Also, diagnostic uh, connection here for your RC Plus uh, to go into the HMS, right? Battery updates, status checks, whatever. Now, another cool thing: three different charging modes. Okay, here are the icons right here. Okay, top one, storage. That's a house, and you're going to put these in the house, okay? 50%, uh, you can see that right there, our storage voltage at least. It's going to go through all of these in the same order as always, I assume anyway. It doesn't really matter when you're doing storage charging, but all of these to a storage voltage, it's going to stop. You're good to go. Pull them. I would not leave them on. Do not leave them on here with that. I don't recommend it. I haven't read the manual, so if it says to do that, just ignore this. I don't usually do that. However, for those of you in emergency response, uh, you're an electric cooperative, you gotta, you gotta fly when a tornado comes through, fire service, law, whatever. This next option, oh God, off target. Blink, right there. Two lightning bolts, I don't, those aren't really, those aren't intuitive, but anyway. The two lightning bolts, this is ready to fly mode, okay? It's gonna charge, same order as I've been talking about, same exact order as I've been talking about, but it's gonna charge them to 90% and hold them there. As long as you got power and this is on, okay? It's going to keep them at 90% for you so you can pull them and go. And it's going to recharge your replacement batteries to 90%, which is a whole heck of a lot faster than charging to 100%, which is what that does. Single lightning bolt. Again, I don't really know the logic there, but I haven't had much time with it. Bottom mode, standard. Everything to 100%. Same charge order, everything to 100%. Okay? Uh, yeah. That's everything. This is not weather rated when it's open, so... I mean, hello, electronics, water, don't mix. Uh, keep these things clean, guys. Try to blow out. You can also notice a new, new tech on there. Blow these things out. Keep some compressed air with you. Whatever you need to do, just try to keep these bad boys clean. Uh, it does come with the power cord as well. The power cord will fit in there. Uh, it's going to bounce around, but it will fit. So however you want to do that's fine. And then this just goes in there. We can stow this really quick. I've got like, what do I have, 20 seconds before 10 minutes. That goes in there. That sits in there. Remember, gimbal lock, always lock that sucker, okay? So it's protected and done. That's it. That's the M30T in my own sort of version of an unboxing. Uh, 
yeah, guys, call us, email us, 844-595-8010, sales at uvt.us. Message me on here, wherever you're seeing this. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching this anywhere, like, comment, feedback. Tell me I suck. Tell me I need to do better. Give me some options on or some thoughts on what I could do better. Uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys following us. Happy to give you the information. Happy Sunday. I love you all. Be safe. See you next time. Goodbye. See ya.